Well, we're at your new digs. Welcome to the inner east of Melbourne, to my Pied de Terre. And we've got on our balcony a bottle of something classic and wonderful to try. And we've just come straight from the East Malvern Wine and Food Festival. And gosh, we had some fun. And we got to interview a vintner as well. We did. And what a leafy suburb this is. It's wonderful. But let's not spoil it and share it with the rest of the world, unlike this bottle of wine. <laughs> now, we're trying something very different. I said classic. It's Italian. It's Southern Italian from the Campania region. Now, if you geographically challenge like I am, if you drew a straight line, it would hit Sorrento. Not the Sorrento outside of Melbourne, but the Sorrento by the coast in Italy. So we're talking Southern Italian, well south of ah. Rome. Do you want to do me a favour and open this for me? This is a bottle of Farmer and the Scientist from Farmer the Heathcote region. and the Scientist. Now, I got to talk to Jess, the lady who is a scientist, and she's married to the gentleman who is the farmer. Yeah. Um, but I was quite intrigued by the wines that they were doing. Now, I don't know if you count this as sacrilege, to add ice to your glass for a white wine like this which is high in acidity naturally high in acidity i would like it served cold now Suze, i know that one of your favorite white wines has got to be sauvignon blanc it certainly is yeah. only because of the fruitiness but and the crispness look, too hey and the crispness well yeah yeah, yeah. but for me specifically it's the fruitiness but i only I don't know if it's me, but I only seem to get that from the New Zealand, the Marlborough region type um, wines, yeah. and they seem to be the most prominent. Nobody can hold a candle to what they're doing in Marlborough for the Sauvignon Blancs. Now, hold that in mind. This won't have quite the acidity of that, um, but it is high in acidity, similar to a Sauvignon Blanc. I don't even recognise what this is. Described by the type of grape that it is, and the grape is Fiana. Um, what I would expect, I would expect a bit of crispness. I would expect maybe a little bit of honey, a little bit of nut to the palate. But why don't you give it a go? Tell me what you think. Oh, oh and how appropriate. It's just isn't it, though? How appropriate. Food and wine festival glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, not by accident. Nothing here is done by accident. <laughs> I'm getting the crispness. Yeah. I'm getting like a, almost a little a bit of honey. A little bit of honey too. But I'm not getting that, <sighs> what, what should I say, that passion fruitiness of Marlborough. Yeah. Well, it's not from Marlborough. It's oh, a completely course. different profile, yeah. a different grape, <clears throat> something completely different. Here we are on the cusp of summer, and it's something which I would highly recommend you seek out. <coughs> what I would eat this with would be seafood and pasta. For whites like this, Italian whites, they don't need a great deal of age. What I would look for if you wanted to put something like this aside, to be honest, I probably wouldn't even bother. I'd buy it bottle ready and ready to go because yeah. Italian varietals are not that expensive. There's not the same amount of pretension as there is with the French wines. You won't be stung for the same price. Um, bear in mind, this is actually Australian grown, so you're not even paying the import cost or the shipping or anything like that at all, um, but suited for the Australian climate. Do you know, I don't think that our audience really appreciates uh, yeah, i'm sure in time they will mm. but i don't think they appreciate what we go through the sacrifices That's we right. make on their behalf oh how we empty the wallet <laughs> and beat our liver and wring our hands as to what to buy next <laughs> and and the sacrifices we make for our art for our audience yeah the wonderful thing for us today <laughs> was that generally <laughs> We will make the pilgrimage out, you know, to the Holy Lands, to the Meccas, to try the different wines and to talk to the vintners and to explore what they're doing. Um, but now they're actually starting to come to us, to this <laughs> leafy part of Melbourne. That's not bad, is it? And actually show their wares to us. And we're really pleased about that. And if you make wines, you can probably see how passionate I am about all things Australian made, all things that suit our climate, our lifestyle, our people and our price point. Talk to us, hit us up on YouTube. It's something I'm passionate about. It's something that we love to do. Fiano, now I just want to quickly tell you this. I have tried Fiano before. This is not the first time I've tried something like this. Uh, and I have tried it before from a major South Australian producer. 
Um, it can be a bit hit and miss. Please, if you can try the wine before you try it, that's something I'd recommend you do, just to make sure it's the right variety for you. And secondly, to make sure that actually it lives up to what you're expecting on the bottle. Now this has got more badges on it than a war in general. Have a look at this. Farmer and the scientist, look, they're a lovely couple. They're out there at Heathcote doing what Australians do best. That's living with the earth that we've got with the poor water supply and the harsh climate and making stuff for you to enjoy. It's bloody brilliant. And with one of our previous videos, we had a comment from one of our subscribers mm. who started making suggestions about, oh, can you do a comparison between this and this and see how it stacks up? Because we like watching what you're doing. I thought, we've never had that before. I love doing that sort of stuff yeah. too. Yeah. We're going to take that on board and we're actually going to do that one on Drambui, as was suggested. Yeah, I was actually very pleased when I saw that. So I noticed recently we're starting to get several hundreds of views for a video on the best Vietnam <laughs> yeah. war movies. And that was from a friend of ours as well to the channel. Thank you, Brad. And uh, people are actually starting to pick up on that. We've got a whole plethora. Plethora? Yeah, that's actually a Greek word. We've got a whole that's, plethora of videos yeah, there for I, you to watch. Yeah. You're, you're very much a wordsmith, aren't you? I, well, I plethora. think so. Plethora, think so. indeed. We've done the Gaelic and, and the, you know, the Gaelic and the one. <laughs> I think we need another glass. Come and join us and uh, open up a bottle of what you prefer. And we'll see you on the next video.